When you hear Tesla stock, you are probably in one of the two groups. The one that thinks it is the greatest opportunity in the history of the world and that it will go to the moon, or that it is an overvalued bubble and you should keep away from it. So let's try to stay objective. Let's see how strong is this business in reality and let's value it and see is it a bargain, is it expensive or is the price just totally absurd. Let's start with the past results. If you were to invest $1,000 into Tesla 10 years ago, you could buy around 80 free shares and today they would be worth around $21,580. So that is a gain of 2,058% in 10 years. I would say that it is a decent result, but that has already happened. And the future does not have to look anything like the past. So let's analyze Tesla and see if such results are even possible in the future. Individual Insiders, that is a check. 14.5% of the company is owned by individual insiders. And we would like to see this number over 2%, so we see that the management has a lot of skin in the game. And it is mainly due to Elon Musk, who owns currently 12.95% of Tesla. And are individual insiders buying? That is an X we see only sale transactions, especially the ones by Elon Musk. This year, he sold shares worth around $41.5 billion. And he needed that money to buy Twitter, or I should rather say X. And do super investors own this company? That is a check. There is one super investor that owns Tesla and it is David Katz. There were three of them, but in the last quarter, David Tapper and Lee Ainsley closed their positions. And are super investors buying right now? That is an X. David Katz bought 87 shares. That is like $22,000, so not a massive investment. And David Tapper and Lee Ainsley sold 152,000 shares, so that's close to $40 million. I would say the difference is somewhat significant. Return on invested capital, that is an X at minus 5.9% 10-year median returns. So that is very worrying. But we should note that in the last three years, it is not only positive, but also going up very nicely. So we see a change from minus 24% in 2015 to plus 27% in 2022. And free cash flow growth? That is a check at 170% annual growth rate for the last 10 years. But also here, this number does not show the full story. It was just $1 million in 2013, then it was negative for many years, and now for the last four years, it is growing very nicely. Since 2019, the annual growth is around 98%, and it is lower than 170% in 10 years, but it still is an absolutely exceptional growth rate. And what do we know about net profit margin? It is a check at 12.9% and the industry average is 7.5%, so a very nice margin for Tesla. And now let's take a look at share buyback. It is an X with 94% of new shares issued in the last 10 years. So that is very worrying. If you owned 1% of Tesla 10 years ago, now you would own only 0.5%. So that is a massive dilution. And let's take a look at the debt. It is a check. It would take just a month or two to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. So Tesla has no problem with debt. 
currently Tesla is not paying any dividends and I would not expect it to pay any in the near future. This company is absolutely focused on growth and development. So they are investing in the company. They have very bold plans, not only in regards to cars and energy storage, but also concerning Optimus, the Tesla robot that may in the future replace humans in a lot of jobs. Price to earnings ratio is 75.8. So for every dollar Tesla is earning currently, we have to pay almost $76. This is quite a lot. The average for S&P 500 is around 23.5, so over three times lower. But to properly value it, we will use a discounted cash flow formula. And for that, we should estimate the growth of Tesla for the next 10 years and we will make three scenarios of this growth. So in the low scenario, we will estimate a growth of 16% for the entire 10 years. In the medium, 32% and then 20%. And in the high scenario, 48% for the first five years and then 30% growth. Now, why did I use such estimates? Well, the global electric vehicle sector is expected to expand at the compound annual growth rate of 15.9% between 2023 and 2035. So the low scenario expects Tesla to just keep up with the market. The medium one predicts that Tesla will grow twice as fast as the market for five years and then slow down but still outperform the market. And the high one predicts that the Tesla will grow three times faster than the market for five years and then grow almost two times faster than the market. So is such an incredible growth possible for Tesla? Well, if we look at the 10-year annual growth rate, we see that the revenue went up by 69.6% and free cash flow by 170% or 98% if we only look at the last four years. So with such estimates, the intrinsic value in the low scenario is $81, in the medium scenario $165 and in the high scenario $396. But these are not the prices we should be looking for because we have to always add a margin of safety. I use a 30% one, but you can use any margin that makes you feel comfortable. So with such a margin, we get in the low scenario $56, in the medium $116 and in the high one $277. And the current price is around $259. So actually the high scenario is in the green even with the margin of safety. Now the question we have to answer is which of those stories do we believe in and how probable each of them is. And that thought process is the beauty of investing. So what do we know? Well first of all that Tesla has some great results that it is still growing extremely fast and that it almost has no debt. On the other hand, it is diluting long-term investors on a massive scale. And the price is right only if we expect Tesla to grow three times faster than the market. But looking at how this company is evolving and how it is growing, it may be possible. I would not say it is very likely, but uh, it's possible.